Welcome everyone. Um, welcome to the community PaaS in A2SV. In this video, um, I will be showing you how to use the community progress sheet so that you don't have difficulties uh, when trying to um, uh, carry out activities uh, so that they are selected for um, A2SV as a member. So the first thing that you need to do when um, coming to this sheet is to add your information if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can go to the info uh, sheet and go to the first MPT row you find. Do this real quick. Um, here, and then it asks here for the name. You can put here John. And then your email, your phone number, your Instagram, your birthday, your CV, uh, when you joined or when you wrote this uh, this information, your photo, uh, a short biography about yourself that can be put on social uh, medias and also not social medias but on uh, pages on A2SV, for example, A2SV.org. If you are a student, you can uh, put the expected graduation date here and the university you are uh, studying, the department. And also, mm. you need to create um, online programming platform accounts, uh, for example, Lead Code, Hacker Rank, Code Forces, Binary Search, Interview Beat, and uh, some other online platforms that you can exercise on, but having lead code, hacker rank, and code forces is mandatory. So you can just go ahead to the search bar and search lead code, and you can uh, sign up for an account if you haven't already done that. The same goes for hacker rank. Um, you can sign up for hacker rank too and obtain, obtain a handle and put the handle on this uh, respective columns and yeah feel to um, feel free to uh, see or to fill all these fields uh, that are necessary for uh, your mentors to look at also uh, it will help uh, it will CV to assign mentors uh, who use your favorite language so it's very important to have these fields uh, all of them filled out so the next step is after filling um, your information and also having uh, online programming platform accounts, uh, what you can do is uh, start solving a problem. Uh, but before that, you have to also add your name here. Uh, you only have to add your name here. So the same goes uh, here. You try to find the last empty row. For example, here, add your name and this row is dedicated for you in this in this um uh, in this sheet okay so this data that you don't have to manually set they are going to be automatically calculated based on uh, the information that is provided starting from column g uh, so this data is uh, automatically calculated and you don't have to change these things manually uh, just to be clear and after having fill, after filling this information, uh, if depending on your experience, if you want to recap on your programming skills, or if you have, if you think you have forgotten some important constructs of a language that you have used before, um, you can refer to that. But here in we have Python track, uh, which is going to be an exercise uh, to basically um, master Python or get comfortable working with Python. So you can come here if you are new to programming language if or if you don't have any prog primary programming language, we advise you to um, uh, follow this path, add your name here, add your name, for example, here, and start solving these problems. 
So how do we how do we solve a problem? So it's easy. Uh, we have problems starting from column ng, and you have the information. You know what easy is and the tag or uh, the topic that the problem is from. Uh, this is the problem fizzbuzz, for example, and um, you can hover over it to get a link to the problem description and also a way to solve the problem online on that platform in Summit. Um, I can, for example, click here and it will take me to lead code. Uh, since I'm already signed in, uh, it will be automatically, um, automat automatically authenticated. So here I read the description and I make sure that I have understood the problem. Uh, you need to follow problem solving methodologies that I will not be explaining here, but uh, you read the problem, you understand the problem, you try to solve the problem manually, and then come up with an implementation strategy. Test thoroughly if your solution actually works in uh, different edge cases, corner cases that uh, might break your algorithm. And after that, you implement it and also test your implementation. For example, this is uh, my implementation and I can test whether uh, here are examples given for that and what's the output for a given input for example if n is 3 I am supposed to return 1 uh, in, in a, as a string and 1 to end fees if I run this it's going to be a wrong answer uh, what, it, what it returned is fees with a 3z instead of a 2z. So uh, my implementation is not uh, correct. I actually broke it knowingly. And if I correct that mistake, now I see it's accepted with the example, um, with the input three here, which is the first example shown here. If I want to test with the remaining example test cases, I can click on this um, arrow and click run example test cases. It will run three of these examples and I see I, I see uh, my algorithm succeeds in um, returning the expected output. Now I can hit submit. Submit is like trying to uh, be judged by hidden test cases or test many test cases for the time complexity and correctness. So if I hit submit and I get a wrong answer, that's a count that will be counted as uh, an attempt. But if I break this, uh, if I break here and it failed to, if it failed in this run code uh, execution, that's not counted. But if I submit it and I get a wrong answer, that's going to be counted as an attempt. And uh, you need to count that uh, in a field that I'll be showing you after this. Summit. And then now I am accepted. So I have tried one before. This is my second trial. So I the information I have is that I have the working code plus I have tried two times because I uh, I intentionally broke the code to show you that the wrong answer, this wrong answer should be counted along with the last accepted solution. After having this, uh, I can go to the progress sheet and sorry. Let me add John Doe here. Now, this is where I put my attempts under FISBES, the column and FISBES, and your row number. I will add the number two because I have tried two times to succeed in implementing the FISBES problem. And here it's the number of the, the number of minutes I have spent solving this problem. So I have spent around six minutes, actually, uh, yeah, six minutes solving this problem. And this is the data I will put here. Um, and on this number of trials, we need to attach a link to our solution so that our mentors can 
make a code review uh, and also see your coding quality, okay? And get feedback on that so that you can improve moving forward. So to you, we need to add a link to our code or our solution. How can we do that? There is GitHub. We copy. Uh, first, you need to create um, a repository. Uh, this is GitHub logged in and you can create new repository if you haven't done this already called competitive programming SV programming you can make it private or public I think it should be public since um, you will be uh, linking source codes from your GitHub to uh, the progress sheet, you can create a repository like this. This is um, uh, empty repo. Uh, so I'll be using previous repository here. And, and now I have like set up the repository, I can add a file, create new, and write fizzbez.py, and I can paste the code I have. And I can pre-commit a file. Okay, now I go to the file I have just created, which is called Fizz, FizzBuzz. I can open this file. Now I can copy this link because it leads to this source code. I can copy this, go to the progress sheet, and uh, I can right click, insert the link and paste the link that you have copied, okay? Now it has a link to your source code and your mentors can uh, go there and review and give you comments right here on the sheet, okay? And um, yeah, con you continue doing this and it's gonna be automatically uh, calculated. For example, I have solved one problem and my total submissions is two and I have one wrong submission since this should have been one, okay? And I dedicated six total time. So this is automatically calculated uh, that you don't need to worry about. Uh, that's all I wanted to share and thank you for watching. And please uh, give feedback so that we, uh, we can improve our onboarding process on it is cv and you have um, less time figuring out how things work and actually get to working start working on tasks thank you so much